previously on Ride On. If I don't see, I go over the edge and die. By the time I get to where that storm is, I'm going to miss that. We are leaving the North Park Inn and Suites in Walden, Colorado. Gonna wind our way through some mountains today. Rocky Mountain National Park. Wind up in Georgetown, Colorado. About uh, almost 10.30, got out just before checkout closes. Kind of waiting for it to get warm because it was really cold overnight. You know, down to 32 degrees. Yeah, I was trying to get a forecast of what it's going to be like at the peaks and stuff today. They're going to be up at 12,000 feet. I would expect that to be cold. My back was really killing me last night. Same problem I always have. Tight muscle, lower left side, and uh, it was really, really bad. Uh, at times I could just barely walk. It's still bothering me a little bit this morning, but it is miles better. I've been pretty mobile, unless I just kind of moved the wrong way. The shoulder and the hands are doing pretty good. They didn't bother me as much yesterday as, as they normally do. We should be about a mile from the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park. Kawunichi Visitor Center. Save myself 30 bucks. Howdy. I have a annual pass. Do you have a reservation sir? No, I... Yeah, so I'm sorry. We do have to have reservations between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. every day. Unfortunately, we, yeah, we can't let you in until 3 because we are sold out. Okay. You got to be kidding me. This blocks my path to pretty much 90% of my route today. Out of all the parks, this one wants reservations from 9 to 3. It's 10 minutes to 1. Today isn't super long. There's barbecue less than 2 miles from here. Getting in at 3 isn't too bad. I mean, Yellowstone doesn't require reservations. And that is the most popular national park in the country. The weather is just stunningly gorgeous today. I took off all my liners. I'm in my I'm wearing my perforated gloves. I guess we'll see how good this barbecue place is. Oh, they have a repertory theater group, huh? A lot of log cabin-y look here. It's a big shock, right? I like the brown bags and, and leather. I'm gonna roll back a bit here. I don't think I gave him enough room. I don't wanna be a dick. I'm seven minutes early, but I'm figuring there's going to be a line when it opens up at three. Do you have a park pass? Yeah, I have an annual pass. All right, if you want to take it out, I can let you go through this lane. I'm in. 2.59. Let me in a minute early. God, can you people do the speed limit, please? For Christ's sakes, I'm riding one-handed here. Ooh, nice little lake. Everybody, pull over and check out that lake, okay? Oh, for the Jedi mind powers. This is the lake you're looking for. Three, nine nine seven, twelve thousand feet.
Oh, there's a deer right there. Oh, a couple more that's sitting down in the shade. <laughs> Look at all of that line of cars waiting to get back in. We got wildlife. Elk. Oh, nice. So I'm heading south from Estes Park now. Stopped off at a tiny little lake. Ran into some lady from Arkansas that spends her summers here. The weather sucks in the summer there. Mental note, don't move to Arkansas. But basically she loads everything into her little van. Spends about what she would spend on rent traveling around and living out of that in Colorado. It's not a bad plan, really. If you don't mind spending three, four months of the year living out of a van, because she doesn't exactly have it fixed up like an RV van. Kind of looks like a homeless person van. Hey, whatever works, man. Annunciation Heights. Is that where people with really good diction live? Colorado 72, I just turned on to, takes me to Nederland. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm headed west on I-70 now, which means I'm circling back home. As far east as I'm going pretty much on this. I'm gonna do about uh, 13 miles on this. Get to Georgetown. Georgetown, Colorado. That's where I'm staying tonight. You know, I've always wanted to ride off in the sunset, but I didn't want to be riding into the sun because that's kind of light. If you've liked this ride, check out one at the top of your screen. And consider liking and subscribing. It'll really help us out. And wherever your journeys may lead, ride on.